Thank you very much at magandang magandang araw mga kaibigan. Nagbabalik po ang inyong programa Aksyon Central Luzon Special Edition. Uh, ito po si Sunny Lopez at ngayon po ay tungkol na naman po sa pangkalusugan ng ating pag-uusapan. At uh, baka iisipin po natin na ito ay pang panlalaki lamang po mga kaibigan. Pero the, the, the effect of, uh, of this dysfunction, ladies and gentlemen, will also affect the partner of the men. And uh, our special topic for today is about erectile dysfunction at saka po mamaya dadagdagan pa po natin yan, yung premature ejaculation. And it is uh, for this reason that we have invited that po natin, natin naging guest, mga kaibigan, sa po siyang uh, diplomate sa Philippine Board of Urology. In fact, uh, urologist po siya si Dr. Rafael L. Lising. Doc, uh, welcome once again. Huh? Good morning, Sir Sani. Uh, it's nice to be back here. <laughs> Oh, at uh, maganda itong topic natin na pag-uusapan ngayon. Maraming magsiguradong magkakaroon ng interest dito. Uh, alam mo I'm naman, sure, I'm sure. di ba? Mm -hmm. Erectile dysfunction. Pero uh, this time, uh, we want to bring it out in the open because not a lot of the guys or the men who are suffering from erectile dysfunction uh, will even discuss this with their doctors. Kaya that's kailangan true. siguro maintindihan nila kung ano itong problema ito, Dr. Lee Zeng. Yes, no? that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to uh, emphasize to, to our patients that uh, most of the uh, erectile dysfunction cause can be treated. Mm -hmm. uh, this diseases treatable are treatable, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, they have to discuss it with me. Yes. They have to consult it with us yes. para matreat natin yun. Tama ang doktor bang pupuntan, urologist, pag ganyan? Uh, yeah, yeah, Kaya urologist. It's, our, it's, our, ano, it's uh, part of our designation. Yeah. Part of the designation, yeah. okay. So, uh, pwede bang... Uh, itong ED or ED or erectile dysfunction, pwede bang discuss mo in layman's term kung ano itong problema ito, Doc? Uh, Actually, uh, Sir Sani, erectile dysfunction uh, in layman's term, impotency po. Mm -hmm. uh, pag sinabing impotent yung lalaki, uh, is not capable of uh, doing sex with his partner. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, marami pong cause yan, no? Uh, kung pag-uusapan Bakit hindi natin. sila -sex, ay, hindi nakakapag-sex sa kanilang partner? That's the problem. But there are some guys who who cannot really uh, have a, 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 an erection, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Meron partially, uh, pwede, pero yung sandaling-sandali lamang. And others talagang hindi, walang... Yes, wala talaga mm -hmm. yun. Okay, Doc? Actually, it uh, imposes a great threat to the relationship of the, uh, of the mm -hmm. uh, couples, no? Kasi... Uh, alam mo to, Sir Sani, no? one of the pillars of a good, successful marriage is uh, sexual uh, uh, relationship. Physical intimacy, no? Physical intimacy. Mm -hmm. So, how could you achieve that if the male, male partner is uh, uh, impotent? Mm -hmm. In fact, impotency is one of the grounds for annulment. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to oh, tama, no? do something mm -hmm. about it. Uh, legally, no? Legally, legally but, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. legally. Uh, implication, legally, uh, dun sa relationship intimacy ng mga, ng mga couples, ang problem dun, po sa great threat to their relationship, ang, ang, so, why, 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 why do we, kung, maga, kung ako yung pasyente, ba't na ako upo sa isang tabi, why, why, consult, consult oh, bakit, to, a, okay. to a doctor. Ang sinasabi mo, Doc, ito ay, Uh, treatable. Kanina treatable, sa, uh, usually, usually, hmm. but not all actually. Oh, pero in most cases naman, treatable. If you can modify your lifestyle, no. mawawala yung, yung erectile dysfunction mo. Oh, bakit mo Just sinabi yan? by mere modification of your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the causes of erectile mm -hmm. dysfunction is environmental factors such as mm -hmm. smoking. Smoking, right? Drinking. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, ha? Huh? Alcohol, yes. Mm -hmm. Alcohol drinking. Pero uh, sinasabi ng mga ibang mga alcoholic, uh, uh, ano raw yan, nakakagana raw sa sex. Yun ang lagi nilang kiniklaim, eh. Actually, at first, uh, we all know that few few shots of alcohol stimulates us. It's a stimulant. Lumala ka sa loob, ganyan. Yeah. Pag nakarami ka na, moderation to a little bit uh, uh, plenty of shots, mm -hmm magiging ano na yan, depressant na yan. Na yan. Mm -hmm. Depressant on your mind, as well as increase na tone ng mga blood vessel mo. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, giving you erectile dysfunction. Siguro, Sir Sani, 
ang ang pag-usapan natin muna <coughs> okay uh, the the process of erectile yes. uh, erectile uh, uh, the, the our terminology for this is tumesense mm -hmm. yung erection ng pieces we call it tumesense mm -hmm. yung tumesense ng penis po um, it involves nerves and blood vessels okay okay nerves and blood vessels with their corresponding neurotransmitters okay. or substance mm -hmm. na sinisecrete ng cells. Uh, in order for us, yung mga uh, televiewers po natin, para maintindihan, kumbaga, yung mga ugat po natin, ang basic uh, implication dito. Now, <clears throat> who are these people who are inflicted with this uh, disease? Rampant po, or uh, common po yung diabetes dito sa Pilipinas. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Diabetes mellitus, the, the end stage, the complication is neuropathy, mm -hmm. nasira yung nerve, uh -oh. and the blood vessel po. It's okay. a cardiovascular disease mm -hmm. din po yan. Mm -hmm. Magiging stiff po yung mga blood vessel natin. In the end, parang uh, how can the, 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 the penis, the, the, the tumisense achieve kung hard you po, hardened yung yung blood vessel natin mm -hmm. hindi sila flexible oh. at saka yung nerve sila okay. oh. mm -hmm. kagaya din sa alcohol alcoholism yes uh, bottom line sinisira din yung nerve natin mm -hmm. nagkakaroon uh, din ng neuropathy plus blood vessels okay okay so uh, bottom line po dito ang sakit sa one of the causes of erectile dysfunction tinitira ho yung bottom mga, line, tinitira yung mga ugat natin. Mga ugat? Yes. <clears throat> eh, yung penis pa naman, gorge with ano yan, di ba? With several... It's a very vascularized organ. Oo. Oh, maraming, maraming daanan ng ano dyan, mga... Yes. Kaya, in fact, kaya nga nag nagkaroon ng erection. Oo. Oh, oh. Because... By the way, by the way hmm. pag nagkaroon ng erection po, it's, be, uh, it's because of the pulling mm -hmm. of blood inside. Mm -hmm. Okay? Nagkaroon ng maraming blood inside, magkaroon ng... Uh, yung smooth muscle natin, yes. smooth muscle ng, ang tawag po sa tissue ng penis sa muscle is cavernous uh, muscle, mm -hmm. nagiging, nare-relax po yan, through their relaxation, magpupull in yung blood, mm -hmm. magpupuno ng blood, mag-harden po yung penis. Mag-harden yung ano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, pag uh, mayroong problema ng pagpupunta ng blood doon, sabi mo yung daanan ng blood, di ba? Doon nagkakaroon ng It, it, yes, it is the interplay between nerves and blood vessels. Ner nerves and blood vessels. <coughs> okay. So, uh, uh, yung, yung, yung penile erection, di ba? Penile erection. Pag umaga, meron ka niyan, di ba? Usually, di ba? Yes. Uh, normally, for, mm -hmm. for, for guys, uh, mm -hmm. it's... it's uh, pag uh, dumating yung panahon, uh, uh, will it come to a certain individual na pag umaga or any time of the day, uh, apektado na? Sa Lister Sani, this one way of uh, distinguishing yes. uh, our patient having organic erectile dysfunction okay. as well as psychogenic. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, most of the individuals complain of erectile dysfunction, uh, the clue natin for the organic erectile dysfunction is that uh, they don't have mm -hmm. any more uh, erection during morning. Mm -hmm. Kasi po magkakaroon tayo ng erection during morning because uh, testosterone is a bit high mm -hmm. during morning. Oh. So, iti-trigger niya yung, yung uh, process po, uh, magkakaroon ng erection. Sa mga tao may organic problem, mm -hmm. even with morning erection, wala na ko sila. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yung testosterone, kailangan na kailangan sa lalaki? Yes. It's a, the, it's the, that's the magic fuel for the guy. For mm -hmm. the, that makes him aggressive, di ba? Yes. Uh, exactly. Yung macho, yun daw yung mm -hmm. pampamacho, mm -hmm. yung testosterone. In, in fact, Sir Sani, if you oh. don't have testosterone, if you're lacking testosterone, that would cause you impotent or erectile oh. dysfunction. It can cause erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. So, sa so lalaki lang yan? Or yes. Ang lalaki lang nag, uh, ang meron ng ganyan? Yes. yes. Okay. So, pag uh, nagkulangan yan, problema, problema rin? Yeah, yeah. Is it uh, because any factor that leads to this? Is it because of aging or bata ka, ganyan? Uh, Ano mga factors na nag naglulus na yung testosterone sa pangatawan natin? Actually, Sir Sani, uh, uh, um, we have this uh, hypogonadism. Mm -hmm. It's part of the workups when I am presented with patient complaining of erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, uh, through history yan, history. Oh. Kung 
kung uh, nung kung physical exam mo parang yung habitus niya parang medyo babae siya mm-hmm. or pag ginexamine namin genitalia maliit yung penis mm-hmm. niya uh, parang may hint kami na meron siyang hypogonadism meaning uh, uh, mababa yung testosterone niya may it be uh, yung yung may lesion fem- sa brain may female characteristics ba ganyan yeah or? yeah something okay. like that mm-hmm. meaning may lesion sa brain di nagkakaroon ng surge sa testos sa testis natin para mm-hmm. mag-produce ng testosterone. Mm-hmm. That's why meron siyang hypogonadism. Okay. And uh, ito yung isang organic problem na 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 kailangan mong i-dealt with uh, sa sa true true process ng let's say maraming maraming diagnostics po nagagawin diyan mm-hmm. sir Sandy. Anong play naman ng brain dito sa lahat ng aspetong ito? Uh, Dr. Lising. Well, actually uh, ang ang uh, erectile dysfunction or the two missense muna po yung uh-huh. process of yung physiological uh, erection po uh, magkakantay ng ganyan ganun through activities uh, inside uh, the brain inside the brain okay it, it is interplay of the neurotransmitters natin mm-hmm. alimbawa sir sani kahit naman uh, hindi ka impotent mm-hmm. okay kung nasa isang tabi ka wala kang visual stimulus oo uh-huh wala kang inisip. Oh, so hindi much so that ma, yeah, hindi ka nag-imagine. Oh, para may stimulate ka. Mm-hmm. Walang mangyayari sa iyo. Oh, okay? Pero merong mga lalaking ganyan, di ba? Ah, may yun. problema ba 'yon? Siguro yung priapism na tinatawag natin. Ah, okay. okay? Mm-hmm. At saka siguro may siguro yung yung sinasabi nating during morning erection, oh, wala kang visual ano. Oh. But actually, meron pa ring participation yung brain doon. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. Something like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, paano naman to, Dok, pag uh, ganyan? Uh, ano, ano bang usually ina-approach sa'yo ng mga, ano, ng mga pasyente mo? Sabi nga natin, ito ay isang karamdaman, no? O the dysfunction ng isang lalaki na pag pinabayaan, hindi lamang siyang na, na, na mo problema, pati yung kanyang asawa oh, o yung kanyang actually, partner, no? At sabi mo nga, sa mag-asawa, pag talagang hindi pwede, ito ay isang legally, isang... Uh, isang rason kung pwedeng maghiwalay no? ng legal, legal ang mag-asawa. Uh, please uh, dwell so, on this, Doc. Sir Sani, uh, we, we Filipinos are born uh-huh. na matas ang pride natin. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Parang inert, Lalo na yung macho image. No? Yeah, macho, macho. sa uh-huh. Filipino yung macho siya na, na uh, he always projects na wala siyang problem, problem when it comes uh, right. to sex. No? And even sakit sa katawan, di ba? Ayaw nilang magpa-check up kung yeah, isang dahil... Yeah. Di sila naniniwalang meron silang sakit yes. o ayaw nilang aminin. Actually, Sir Sani, in, our, in my practice, a patient wouldn't come to me directly because uh, of that problem. Uh, Usually, ang sasabihin niya muna sa'yo, uh, uh, Doc, I have problem with parang urination, pero mild lang. Mm-hmm. Tapos, at the end of the day, parang sasabihin pa rin niya pala sa'yo na, na may, we, uh, he's having erectile dysfunction. Mm-hmm. Parang uh, what we are trying to drive drive at now, uh, Sir San, is that uh, it is they should be open to us. Oh. In fact, uh, we you have, always want that uh, from your patient, of right? Of course. Don't. Uh, tsaka, they, they put this this in mind. Na dapat. Uh, meron din kaming patient, doctor. Uh, ano disclo- uh, Parang walang non non disclosure. Right. It's a parang. Uh, nasa oh. namin na, discreet kami mm-hmm. sa ganyan. Tama. Kung ano man ng, Especially in cases like this. Like this, like mm-hmm. this. The, like oh. this particular mm-hmm. case na medyo masela. Eh, kasi makakasira rin sa inyo yan, di ba? That's true. Pag That's pinagkwento true. nyo yan, o kaya sinabihan nyo sa so, kapwa doktor nyo lang o yeah, sa pamilya yeah, yeah. nyo, tapos nabalitaan ng pasyente. Mm-hmm. Tapos yun naman, ako hindi ka pwede... Actually, ma- you can be sued also. Sued also for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be sued also. Dahil dun sa non-disclosure. Non-disclosure. Okay. Na-preach mo yan. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, okay, Doc, mag- mag-break muna tayo. Okay, okay. Mag-break muna tayo, tapos pag-uusapan natin yan kung paano yung the best approach for a patient to talk to the doctor about this erectile dysfunction or ED ng kaibigan. Pabalik po kami. <coughs> 